Hey everybody, Cameron with Iron Forest Knives here. I uh, just want to show you the results I got with my second uh, idea, which was casting using this uh, straight edge uh, to cast a flat surface onto my rail, or uh, where my rails are going to be mounted, I mean. Um, it looks like it worked pretty well. Um, I did have some issues. The saran wrap wasn't as flat as I thought it was going to be. So there's kind of like ripples in it. Uh, and also I kind of like spread it onto there, onto the surface, uh, like flat, and that caused it to trap some bubbles and stuff like that in there. But overall, it's very good. Um, I'm going to redo it still. Uh, so I got my uh, indicator here. This is a 5 tenths indicator. And if I got my, you know, Noga base on a one two three block so it slides a little easier. And if you look at it, it is, besides all the little bumps and stuff like that, which are caused by the, uh, uh, just the casting problems, not really uh, the flatness or anything of it, it is very flat. So I am super happy with this. It's definitely very promising. I mean, that's zero right there. And, you know, this is over, what is that? I don't know where the fulcrum would be there, but, you know, it's like four inches. Uh, so that's very good. It's kind of I would set up the uh, straight edge, but it's pretty hard to get set up in a place where I want it. So uh, I'm going to chip all that off and recast this. Uh, I'm going to use aluminum foil. I think I'm going to because aluminum foil is very flat, or at least not flat. It's a consistent thickness. And I know uh, I've watched uh, some of Tom Lipton's videos, and he has he will use aluminum foil on a surface plate to lap parts uh, so you can like change out your surface that you're, that the uh, compound you're using is embedding into, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I think it'll work fine for me. Uh, I'm going to tape it to the straight edge this time so I can make sure that the aluminum foil is very flat and tight across the straight edge. So it'll give me a better casted surface. And I think I'm going to mix up my JB Weld, put it into a plastic bag, and basically pipe it onto the surface. So we're gonna do some baking, I guess. Uh, I think it'll work really well. The, I'm really happy with how flat this is. And this was like, I mean, this did not take long at all to do. I got my uh, straight edge bolted to my, or actually square bolted to my straight edge here. And uh, I think this will work. Uh, it's a little, maybe it looks a little bit precarious, but it uh, seems to be pretty good. So, pretty much reading zero there. Come on, this thing, it's also at zero. And it is pretty square. So I think that'll work for my uh, referencing the other side to get my heights, my uh, two different uh, rail mounting locations on the same plane and parallel to each other. So, thought that worked pretty good. We'll uh, try it out. Alright, the piping bag worked fantastic. Uh, hopefully that's enough JB Weld on there. We'll see. So now all I gotta do is lay the wax paper on top and then set my uh, straight edge and square on there. And that's it. Alright, I got it placed. Uh, it looks like there's uh, epoxy oozing out both sides, so... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, one thing I didn't mention, I put a piece of wax paper on top of the copper wire that I had over here too. So that they would be the same height, exactly. That's pretty much it. Now we wait for it to cure. Hopefully this is the last time on this side. <laughs> it worked. So the surface is kind of, uh, I'm gonna call it a modeled finish. So it's like, you can see deviations in the thickness and thinness caused by, caused by the, the wax paper. Um, but I think it's good enough. I got my 5 tenths indicator here. 
and uh, it is really flat. It's obviously got little bumps and stuff in it, but you know, left and right, it's flat, and also over the whole length because it just casts that surface of my uh, straight edge across the whole thing, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, so on the next one, I'm going to leave this. Uh, I still have to cast the end of it again because the straight edge isn't long enough. Uh, on the next one, I'm not going to use wax paper. I'm going to use this uh, plastic. Um, it is basically a... I work at a sign shop and we have, uh, you know, we use a laminating machine and it has, whenever you laminate something, it peels off a backing and the backing is sometimes it's wax paper, sometimes it's like plastic and the plastic is really thin and very smooth and it has like, it's probably a very consistent thickness. So I'm going to grab some of that and use that to cast the other side and it should come out almost perfectly glossy. And, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy with this. There's a couple little spots where it kind of is a little slightly low, but it's like nothing to be concerned about in my opinion. Uh, plus I'm going to mount the rails with epoxy again anyway, like mount them, glue them down to make that trough I was talking about in the previous, um, videos. Uh, so now what I need to do is mount this rail using these two holes and then punching through this epoxy to get to my mounting holes uh, before I cast the end of it again. So, should work. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I cast these real quick. So I'm just gonna do this little end piece here. Um, got my JB Weld, mixing stick, mixing palette, a Ziploc bag. I used a, uh, a smaller one, or a larger one for the other rest of it because it was of course it'd probably work uh, it actually comes out of the bag way easier than I thought I was going to um, I got my holes filled with hot glue um, then I took a knife and cut them flat got my wax paper here um, yeah I'm ready to go so I'm gonna put some uh, epoxy on my little mixing palette Probably more than I need, but whatever. Better to have too much than not enough. Hopefully that's about the same amount of volume. I'm gonna take this bag, turn it inside out a little bit until I get to that uh, the end little corner, and kind of gloop it on in there. Sorry if this isn't on camera, it's really hard to it's hard to do as is, but filming makes it extra. I'm trying to do it in frame. <laughs> it's challenging. Alright. Squeeze that to the corner. Nip off the end. I'm kind of worried um, when I go to cast this the second time that the epoxy will get into the second side or like on top of this surface and then it will prevent it from going down all the way. That's kind of worrying me. Um, I'm just hoping that the weight of this thing will just push out everything that's extra. So that's on there. That's as long as it takes really. Uh, 
this is going to be way easier on the y-axis just because uh, the <laughs> the ruler is as long as or longer than the base so that's nice make it easier let me get my wax paper I'm going to do a little bit of full length just be, just so that it's consistent thickness and it won't uh, mess it up make sure this thing is really clean I guess we'll see what happens. That's plenty of weight, in my opinion, so... Alright, we'll see what happens in a little while. Here is the result of casting this with JB Weld and my granite straight edge. Uh, I got two 123 blocks with my indicator uh, going between them. This one, if it rises up, the indicator will show it to indicate any flatness. I'm doing that because this surface is a little bit rough from the wax paper that I used to cast this. Um, on the other side, I'm going to use a thin plastic. Uh, it's kind of rigid, but uh, it should work just as well, or it should work better because it, it's not a rough surface. So I'll show you how flat this thing is. Well, that's not what it showed earlier. Must have been something on there. <laughs> There's something on there. But as you can see, it's pretty dang flat. And then when I get to this second pour that I did, uh, there's a little bit of a bump up here. And that is from the epoxy getting on the, the second pour, getting a thin layer on top of the first one. So it's got a little bit of a, a bump there. But you could probably, uh, I might try to maybe sand that off or get a, a stone and kind of knock off the high spots. But as you can see, it's very flat. Um, I'm really happy with it. The second side should be better. So uh, yeah, that'll be the next video, is me doing the second side. As you can see, I got some pretty good results. Uh, pretty easily, really. Um, the second side should be even better once I get uh, my other plastic that I'm going to use instead of the wax paper. Um, I think this is a really economical way and pretty easy way to uh, cast a surface to mount your linear rails to. And most people are going to need a granite straight edge anyway to mount their rails and get them dialed in. So it's really just taking full advantage of this thing because it's, it's accurate. So you might as well use it, right? But uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to follow this uh, series that I'm doing on this machine, subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below, and I'll get to them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.